Hello and welcome again to another room here on Try Hack Me. Today we're going to look at a room called Crack the Hash. So I know it's been a while since I did a room on Try Hack Me, but I've been busy doing my pen test boot camp and really, you know, writing the materials takes quite a while of time. Also, we term just started at my education, well, at my school where I work. So I've been really busy doing different kind of things. Anyways, I figured I want to do the room here called Crack the Hash because it's really um, a great idea to know how to crack a hash, if you've got your hands on a hash, how to work with it, and basically the way around it. So let's get it cracking. So we've got two different kind of levels here, level one and level number two. All right, so the very first level, we're going to look at how I found the different answers for these um, hashes we have here. So. The very first one is, of course, the, the most easy one, and it also resembles the word called easy. So I'm going to copy paste this string, go to crack station, and basically paste it in. I'm not a robot, crack the hash, and you should have it. It's an MD5 type of string. This is an easy win. The next one is this one here. Now, this looks like something different. Of course, if you want to if you want to know exactly uh, what it is and get some hints, you could of course click the button hint here and it says something, sha, whatever. So basically what you're going to do is one more time, just copy paste it and put it into crack station and see if you can find something here. It's a really good place to get yourself going and it will show the answer if it knows the hash. And this particular case, it's really simple. You know, it's just password one, two, three. All right, so I have the next one here. It is called Let Me In. It's a bit longer, as you can see. It looks like the same composition as before, maybe just longer. So I'm still gonna stay on crack station, paste it in, say I'm not a robot, and see if we get it. And Let Me In, it is a SHA-256. So it's just longer. It doesn't really mean that it's more complex or anything. If Crackstation got the password, it will show it to you, no matter whether it's a, um, which kind of hash it is. All right, so let's go back again. And now we're getting to get a bit more advanced. We get this here. <clears throat> now, when you see a hash like this, you should definitely look at the very first beginning, like the dollar to Y dollar. So take this and go to Google and type hashcat dollar something like that, and you should be able to find out that mm, the dollar to y is some sort of hash which can be decrypted using that tool. So let's go into the hash identifier. It can help you to verify which hash it is, and I would like to say that it's probably not a bad idea just to use it so let's go ahead and boot it up all right hash identifier and let's copy go and copy paste the hash from try hack me this is the one so copy paste go back paste it in and we didn't copy it correctly let me just try one time copy there there you go so it doesn't really find anything and this is because it is not um a hash it recognizes so we're gonna find out how to how to verify which kind of hash this is let me just close this down here if you go ahead and take the hint it will tell you exactly what I told you that you should go ahead and look for different kind of you know hashes for the two dollar to whatever it is so let's take this dollar what is the sign yeah so let me go back and then go to type like hashcat and then different hashes and then maybe put that one in and you should could probably take this one i guess it does seem like it and you will get some posts and you know, no matter how no matter how you're gonna find this you know you will probably get the correct answer now there's a dollar to y2 and kind of tells you that it might be this 3200 hash which is the mode so what you could do is basically go back and say hashcat and then go to hashes take the first page you get and go to 3200 down here and say this looks like 
Bcrypt, all right? So it, it kind of looks like this. You have this dollar something and dollar something more. Now don't, don't, don't tie yourself to the idea that the Y needs to be there. So we went back and said hashcat this one more again. You will also see that it does say that the two dollar A, B, C, X, Y, and so on, there's a popular Bcrypt. So the answer was here all the time, but it's of course difficult if you look for something you don't know what to look for. So <clears throat> now that we know that this is Bcrypt, let's go ahead and take a terminal and write hashcat. And this is the uh, M3200. Now we need to, to save the hash to a file. So I'm gonna take this hash right here. And let me see, copy, go back to terminal, echo this to a file called hash.h. Doesn't really matter what it's named. Then go back <clears throat> to the hashcat example and you're gonna take the file called hash h and you will run it and it's what's wrong with this okay let's go <clears throat> let's go into the file so nano hash h and oh there's y inside let's yeah so <clears throat> I don't know what happened and why I didn't get it. So let's just take this, copy, paste it in and remove all the spaces, save it, go back, run it one more time. And now we'll run <clears throat> and it will gonna take some time. And within that time, we can reflect upon what we did and, and, and think, okay, so we look for the different, you know, signs and the start of the hash to identify the type of it. When you know the type of the hash, you can choose the right mode in Hashcat to try and break it, well, brute force it. So we're gonna use the one where it is called uh, Rockyu, which is the one that is, you know, commonly used to crack passwords. So while this run, I'm gonna pause the video and get back to you when it's done. All right, as we can see, the hash is now cracked and it is the, um, the ble password. Um, it was quite fast, so um, yeah, as we know that, you know, the password we're gonna use for brute forcing is in the list of RockyU. Now, um, RockyU is a very common, you know, word to use because it's kinda, it's, it's kinda big and contains a lot of interesting good passwords that can be used, so. But sometimes, you know, it is not inside of it, you need to find your way around, how to create your own dictionary and stuff like that, but in this particular case, we got the, the hash, Blair. And the last one here is something that looks like in the area of MD5. So let's put it into crack station. And we have it, it's an MD4, so eternity 22 is the last answer. Now going on to level number two, we'll get this one here. It's another long string. Let's go back to crack station again. You know, basically just put it in my robot, see what's get. And it's poly or poly. Now we have this one here, and it's another one, so first of all, let's just try and put it into crack station, see what we get. And we're gonna get this really weird password. Now, I don't know who 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 stored this, but this is called an NTLM, you know, and I'm not really sure how this looks like an NTLM password, but you know, it's a good thing we have places like crack station. Next time we have this one here, it's uh, it's a salted password. So we, we have a salt here. Now, if you don't know what salt is, I recommend you go ahead and do the uh, the cryptography room here and try hack me. But the salt is, is, is an added string you use to salt the password in order to make it even harder to crack the hash. This dollar six dollar is something you can go ahead and look up here. So if you go to type dollar six dollar, you're gonna find that this is probably most likely the SHA five two one crypt. So it's mode of eighteen hundred. So let's go back again to our screen of hashcat here. Uh, clear, thank you. And we're gonna use the mode of 
1800 this time and now we're gonna find, go ahead and put in the the password and the things uh, in order to uh, make this work so let's go ahead and take the hash and see all this right there go to terminal break this off nano into and we call it t.text paste it in put a colon copy the salt put that in there let's hope the dot it's necessary to be there and let's do hash cat one more time mode 1800 see the text and basically use the same share share word list for you no Token length exception. So we have something with the the token here. Let me see. Maybe that doesn't have to be there. You know. No, nope. not the case. Let me see one more time. Oh, it, it's it's already there. You know, I didn't really see that. The salt is already there. So let's go back. Why didn't you show me that? put the dot back maybe it needs to be there I don't know and it runs now and initializing back and runtime for P1 all right so I'm gonna let's see what's to say if you want to switch to optimize kernels well, I think I'm going to stick on this for now. So I'm going to pause the video and get back when this is done or if something different happens. All right, so we're done and we've got the password called Waga99. It took quite a while. I had three runners at uh, one time because my computer blacked out because of some pause, you know, so I kind of ran it again and and it was a bit faster. <laughs> anyway, so the last password to find is the one here. And we have another string like that, you know, it looks like, if I should be honest, looks like something like this again, but let's just, you know, I'm not really sure which kind of this, so we can take the hint, but we can also go ahead and just do the hash identifier, paste it in and get the idea this is my, might be SHA-1. So let's just, you know, stick to that. And this is probably SHA-1, so. I wanna go ahead and say hashcat M and go ahead and check out the SHA-1. So let's say SHA-1 is right there. It is password salt. Now, depending on the mm, direction, you know, if it's salt to pass, or password salt, you need to choose, you know, either the one here, or one there, so 110, 120. I think I pick 110, you know, because, you know, I feel lucky, so 110. And today I'm gonna put in the the hash raw. So let's go back, take the hash, copy it, do colon, and take the salt, just like that. And use the same, uh, use share, word list, like you, and run it. And you know, this is gonna be the um, the way that, you know, I will suggest we, we crack the password. So let's see what happens now. And slowly and steadily, probably gonna get the answer. So it already stopped. And what did I miss something here? Um, today stays exhausted. It is this number, so we need to get a number. Why does it say exhausted? That's quite interesting. So let's try one more time. Looks like the correct format and everything. Let me just have a look. 
from our notes. It is. So. What does this mean? Status exhausted. Hashcat. Exhausted. What's that mean? Uh, and failed to find. What? So let me just open a new tab. Sudo nano uh, user share wireless rock you. Should be a quite a large file. It is. So let's do. It is really large, so nothing wrong with the lists. Mm. Exhausted. That's quite weird. Well, let me just go to the hashcat folder and nano into hashcat pod file. Do I see the hash here already? Do you have something? By the way, this is a file where you can see the the hashes that you have already cracked, so no. And did I did I copy paste this correctly and everything colon yes. Is there something wrong with this? I don't really see it. False. Exhausted. That's really weird. Let me see what what is wrong with this. It's doing something wrong. HMAC. Yeah. Well. Okay. One fifty. We can try that. You know, I don't think it's gonna. So we took the hint, and we're gonna change the mode to one fifty. Maybe I have something barking myself in this tab. Maybe I just chose the wrong mode. I'm not really sure. That's weird at least. Nope, still the same. No, I'm, I think I'm gonna call it and do another tab. This one here called Hashcat. 110 and basically put in the, the hash one more time. You know, let's just do it. I know what's going on. And try hack me, it would be. And then user share word list. Rock you would that be the wrong one. Okay, it didn't work. So I'm gonna have to look at this and pause the video and get back. Alright, so I've been, you know, fiddling around this for quite a while now and I'm still getting the same error message from Hascat saying exhausted all the time. And let me just show you exactly what I do. Just running it and I checked it. It is the exact thing I need to do. I even tried different word lists and stuff. So I guess I just have a problem machine at the moment need to fix. Anyways, this is the right command to run and this is the right mode and everything. I actually checked if it was the right mode. Some old notes I had and it was. So I think I just need to I don't know, reboot my machine 10 times and, you know, walk around my house 15 times. No idea. Anyways, this was just a video about how to crash, crack some hashes on, on TryHackMe. I really hope you liked the video. Gonna see you again online. Have, have a nice day. Bye.